Hello YouTube, welcome to a new Minecraft video, and uh, today we're going to be playing a little bit of hardcore, oh wait, I, <laughs> I scrolled past that, okay, and it's going to be modded, okay, and uh, if you're going to groan, then I'd suggest you leave now, because, yeah, but uh, as the title says, it's going to be a short LP, because it's on hardcore, and uh, if you've watched any of my videos, you probably know I'm not the best at survival. <laughs> Um, and that's that's kind of the probably the nicest way to put it. Probably the the blunt the blunt way to say it would be I suck at Minecraft sometimes when it comes to survival. <laughs> so uh, yeah, spawned off. Got a couple of mods. I'm not exactly sure how all of these work, so it'll be a little bit of a learning adventure for me. But um, I do know how a couple of them work, like the gameplay changing ones. And um, one of them is Koro's um, zombie awareness, well, mob awareness actually. And what that means is, whenever a mob spawns like near you, it will always try and find a path to you, which is, which is okay, meaning. But when you're in hardcore mo mode, you really want to avoid all the mobs. And um, they make it also makes it so that mobs actually prioritize. Um, your life over theirs, which is somewhat, which can be seen as flattering, but actually, when it comes to survival, you'd rather if they preferred their own lives, because now that means that mobs actually won't stay in, like, hidden shelters just to stay away from the sun, they aren't wimps anymore, um, they will, they will flee, freely run out into the open, just to get, like, at least one, one, um, one hit at your health bar. So, uh, it's, it's, so, uh, you know, I'm gonna try and avoid caves as much as possible, and, um, I have played a little bit with this mod, and at night time, it gets crazy. Really crazy. In fact, it's, um, crazy is an understatement of how crazy it gets. Because, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and mine one block up, so, uh, I, I can catch all the leaves. Uh, well, that was kind of anticlimactic. I expected there to be much more leaves. <coughs> Alright, I can't he hear any zo <laughs> uh, mobs at the moment, but I haven't really ventured off far from my usual stun stunning po point. Um, there are uh, there are a couple of weapon mods, which are actually pretty cool. Actually, there's only one. There used to be, um, I used to have installed Tux's mod and Balkan's mod, but seeing as Balkan's mod added more um, things, um, I really wanted to have them both installed because they had pretty neat stuff, but Falcons mod had more things, but the things that, some of the things that uh, Tux's weapons did were a little bit more um, amazing, but you know, I had to compromise with the one that had the, mo the most things, which, um, yeah, you know, okay, that looks kind of dark, but... Um, at the moment, it looks like the most hospitable shelter around here, so I think I'll take it. Uh, there's some gravel here, which is okay. Uh, someone just came on Skype. Cool, because I'm playing a game, so I can't really, can't really talk to them at the moment. And uh, it's not. I don't think they want to be talked to. They have like a. Oh no, they went on offline. <laughs> ah, I misread that a little bit. Right, I'm gonna try and get eight, so I can uh, make some torches. Cause um, the first thing I want to do before all this, the first order of business is to make myself a shelter. Because if I don't have a shelter by the time night falls, I am screwed. And uh, you'll understand why I say this a little bit later when we're resting in our little house after the night has fallen. So, uh, first thing I want to do is I want to mine out some of this so we have actually some space to work with. Um, I'm going to have to, you know what, let me, let me craft one of these things. Oh no, did I wait, did I, oh no, I don't want to do that. Okay, let's place that there. Luckily, I, I think, I don't think I wasted too much, uh, fuel doing that. Okay. So I want to make one of these. Just to light up everything. And I want to place two more in here to get myself these. So I can get the coal, or the charcoal, call it what you will, but it's essentially coal, and uh, to get some torches, so I can actually see what I'm doing. Right. Cool. 
Uh, where'd my shovel go? I, I must have, that's kinda pointless. I, I placed it in the wrong place, so... Okay. Oh, I've got some flint. That's pretty cool. I've got a... It seems I've got, like, a lot more flint than I usually get. I've already got two pieces. And you can use flint to make javelins, so... Flint is actually pretty neat at the moment. Right. Um, yeah. Alright. Okay, I think that's it. Oh, uh, no, it isn't. <laughs> Barely begun. Alright, I can I can take a little bit of rest now, because I've already got this, and so I just need to place two things here, two things here, and I've got a little bit of a base, but... You know what? Seeing as this is going to be a little bit of a, a relaxation, a, a really downturn video, you know, might as well try and overachieve. <laughs> it's always fun to overachieve. Okay, this gravel is severely out of place. Kind of opens up the possibility. Oh, there's coal there. Kind of opens up the possibility that there was actually gravel higher up. So we might go up there and check it out. Cause uh, yeah, might be able to get some uh, arrows and some winning. Like I don't know exactly what you can do, but with the tinkerer's construct, it adds some in interesting things. Right. Okay. All right, got some charcoal. Um, probably next thing I want to do is I'm gonna just uh, mine into this little thing a little bit more so I can get some coal. I'm just gonna sort of what I what I plan to do is to make a little base around here. Um, I can't see where the sun is. Oh no, it's at midday. Okay, we've got tons of time. Um, I'm just going to uh, cut and I'll be back once I've like cut, meaning made this, because it might so, like right. I think 36 might be enough. Um, I'm not too sure about that though. So I'm not gonna I'm not going to go a little <laughs> go too overboard with this. I'm going to essentially start out by laying down the foundations, and uh, it is a little bit sort of. I mean, I'd say it's slightly over ambitious to get started on a little base on the first like day you're there. Most people would have gone for a little hidey hole. I think it's oh no, it's sun starting to set, which isn't cool. I need to really get my game now, right? Right, this is actually going to take up a lot of cobble, and I don't have a lot of cobble. Me old, in my old world, I had a ton of cobble. Whoa. Yeah. I hope in the uh, latest, because, with the, oh, one, one second. Right, so, essentially, with the latest updates, they've, um, they've decided to uh, add a game rule so you can change the automatic healing. And I hope they don't make that, like, compulsory with, um... Oh, wait, uh, that's what I want to do. I want to create a new pick, because I probably won't be able to finish it at my current rate if I keep on using that pick, and it's almost finished, so... We can finish it off later. No offense <laughs> to the wooden pick. Uh, okay, that's gonna be difficult. Because there's a little of clove, which I can't... I'll just use some gravel. Really, all I worry about right now is the actual sort of <laughs> exterior. I don't really worry about the interior because I can work on that throughout the night. And so, okay, Whew. I want to get this done as quickly as possible. <laughs> Meaning, if 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 it starts to get dark, I'm just gonna build a little a clove. The only problem is when mobs start going in here, um, they won't despawn because of the 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 lack of sunlight hitting them, which is a uh, which is a it's a curse. <laughs> it's not a blessing. I was about to say it's a blessing and a curse, and I just realized I was wrong, so I didn't. That is how you have logic, right? Awesome. Actually, our house is actually pretty close to being finished. Neat. Oh, I didn't actually expect to finish this. Right. Um. Oh no, oh no, no de no. <laughs> Actually, this is a really neat, hole. um, neat little base, because I, I actually really like it. I might actually get s start to get attached to this world, which is the last thing you want to do when you're, um, when you're playing hardcore, because essentially you, every, every time you step outside, you run the risk of losing your world, and if you get overly attached to it, then uh, you won't step outside and it'll be boring and stuff. Right, I think that's fully sort of decked out. Nothing should be able to get in. 
hopefully. <laughs> I don't think there are any sort of holes in my defense. Hopefully not, because uh, when the night comes, I you will be able to see <coughs> why I don't want any holes in my defense. Because boy, it does get crazy, really crazy. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna patch up this a little. You know what? Maybe I should replace all the dirt. Now, there's my. It, it is meant to be my house. A little bit. Sort of okay, and I think there. I think this was the amount that I. Remember. No, actually, it'd be pretty cool if it went like from here. You know what? Never mind. I don't, I'm overcomplicating things, and usually, whenever I overcomplicate my builds, they turn out not too great. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna just stick with the simples. Right. Okay. Cool. Now we've done that. We've kind of wasted all our fuel. Right. I'm gonna just check if it's safe enough to go outside. No. Oh no. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. What I want to find is some sort of flat ground, okay? Because that is the most useful. Right, this is perfect. This is actually the best thing I could have asked for. Um, only thing I want to do is move this stuff because it's actually in the way. And if any mobs come, I will be a little screwed. So what I want to do is I want to place this here. Get a little bit of a a clove. Oh, damn it! Run out of. Another stone. Let's mine some more. Whew. Okay. Well, I'm a little, a little bit more relaxed now because that initial pressure has been taken off. Which you always have that initial pressure when you start. Okay. So you can hear that. And you're like, whoa. That's that's why. <laughs> there are freaking skeletons, which do tons of damage. And uh, like an idiot, I've forgotten to build myself a sword. But that's cool because actually, with the Tinker's construct. We get some fancy things to do. Oh, see, see that? That's blood. It's my blood, actually. <laughs> Whenever I get hurt, my blood falls on the ground. Yeah, it does. Oh, I, I want to finish that off, otherwise mobs will hit me. Probably just need three or four more blocks, so I'll just mind those things. Right, there we go. So now I have this safe area where I can sort of battle mobs do things, and then I can go here, and it's kind of safer. <laughs> Hopefully, that's the very... Right, that's cool. So I'm going to place my uh, furnace here, my crafting table here. It's pretty 